Buddha, just a presence, a being. Buddha is a presence, not a mood. You are moods, not a presence. Sometimes you are hate, one mood, and next moment you are love, another mood. You too, so too, sometimes you are anger, another mood. Next time you are greed, another mood. You are moods. You are never a pure presence and your consciousness goes on being modified by your moods. Each mood becomes the master and guides you. It modifies the consciousness, cripples it, changes it, colors it, and deforms it and when a particular mood takes over you you are guided by that consciousness and you interact in the world of objects and beings through that consciousness a buddha is without moods no moods whatsoever now hate has gone love too has gone anger has gone greed has gone and non-greed also has gone, non-anger also. So there is neither anger nor no anger. They have disappeared. The duality is no more. And now he is a simple presence. If you are sensitive, you will feel love flowing. If you are sensitive, you will feel love flowing from him. You will feel compassion. If you are not sensitive, instead you are gross. If your meditation has not developed, you will not feel him at all. A Buddha will move amidst you and you will not even become aware that some phenomena is passing. And something rare, something which passes only once in, a cen in centuries, you will not become aware of the presence. Or if you are very gross, anti-meditative, or you have wrong connotations of meditation, you will even become angered by his presence. Because his presence is subtle, you may even become violent because of his subtle presence. His presence may be disturbing to you if you are very gross, anti-meditative, no taste of meditation. You will become an enemy of a Buddha and he will not have done anything. And if you are open and sensitive, you will become a lover and he will not have done anything. Remember this, when you become an enemy, it is you. And when you become a friend, it is you. A Buddha is a simple presence. He mirrors you and in front of him, your love, your hate, your anger mirrors. When also when you become a friend, it is you. A Buddha is a simple presence. He is available like a mirror. He mirrors you. If you become an enemy, you turn your back. You will simply miss something for which you may have to wait for lives to come again. Anand was crying the day Buddha was passing away. And Buddha said in the morning, now this is my last day. Now the body is going to vanish, to be finished. Anand was near. He was the first to whom Buddha conveyed this 
this is my last day so go and tell everyone that if they have to ask something they can ask anand started crying so buddha asked why are you crying for this body i have been teaching and teaching and teaching that this body is false it is already dead or are you weeping crying for my death remember this body is a vehicle just as you change the vehicle when a particular vehicle gets old but you travel in the body in the vehicle in order to reach from one destination to another so too this human body is old this human body is a vehicle it undergoes changes and it helps your consciousness to move from one state to another it is already death bound are you crying for my death do not cry because i have died 40 years ago the moment one experiences realizes the presence of awakening enlightenment all around that very moment something dies in him the body his connection with the body severs like you would have seen there are people who are very much attached to their vehicle there are people who take care of the vehicle just as you take care of health because that is necessary for you to continue so to you take care of the vehicle but you are not attached to it so this is what actually happens the moment an individual realizes the presence of awakening surrounding him so buddha said i have died 40 years ago i died the day enlightenment happened so this body is only disappearing now completely do not cry anand said a beautiful thing he said i am not crying for your body or for you i am crying for myself i am crying for myself i am yet unenlightened and now how many lives will pass before again a buddha will be available to me it is the presence of a buddha and cherishing that presence presence around you is a blessing you have to cherish it you do not know how long how many lives you have been waiting for such a presence now it is there you are guided by different moods and when it is no more then how long you will have to wait for another presence to be around you and i may not be again available i may not again be able to recognize you your recognition you recognize me only because of the outer appearance are you aware of my presence without a presence it this is what meditation it happens in meditation when you begin the meditation you are sitting in front of the master with your eyes wide open and then you close your eyes you are in meditation if he disappears if he moves away from there you will not feel his absence because with the closed eyes you are connected to his energy field not his physical presence so a uh, meditation is the way to establish a subtle connection with the presence with eyes open you have a physical a gross connection so eventually it happens 
whether your eyes are open or close whether there is a distance the master the presence is far and near it gets dissolved in the entire atmosphere around you it becomes cosmic that presence of the awakened one if there is love in your heart for the awakened one that presence dissolves in every fiber of the existence and it is it surrounds you then even if your eyes are open you will feel the presence deep within unless you become enlightened your clarity of mind will be clouded at any moment before you become enlightened you can fall back again and again nothing is certain so anand said i am crying for myself i am not yet enlightened i have not yet reached the goal and you are entering nothingness many even buddha's own father could not recognize that his son was no more his son that something has happened into his body which rarely happens the darkness has disappeared and eternal light was burning there but he could not recognize it many were against him many tried to kill him but it is all up to you whether you become a friend a lover or an enemy all depends on you and your sensitivity and on your mind how your mind feels but a buddha is not doing anything he is simply a presence just through his presence much happens around him those who can feel love they will feel he is in deep love with them and the deeper you can feel the more you will grow <coughs> in the feeling that is love is deepening towards you the deeper you can feel the more you will grow in the more you will grow and you will feel that his love is deepening towards you you alone if you can become a real lover you will feel that a buddha is a lover to you if you become an enemy and you feel hate you will feel that buddha is an enemy and you will feel that he has to be killed destroyed it all depends on you a buddha is a non doer he is simply a being he is there so what happens is difficult to say because whatsoever we will say will be a mood if we will say if we say he becomes a lover that he has a great love if it will be false that will be our own feeling jesus follower felt that he was simply love and jesus enemies thought that he has to be crucified so it de- all depends on you it depends on how you take it how you are capable of taking it how much open you are but from the side of the awakened one nothing can be said he can simply say that now he is without doing anything he is just a presence a being and nothing else enough for now